welcome. Welcome to the next short reading and uh, reflection to be listened to in conjunction with one of our communion services, the communion service for Wednesday the 12th of August. I hope this finds you well. So the Bible reading set for today, Matthew chapter 18 verses 15 to 20. If your brother or sister sins, go and point out their fault just between the two of you. If they listen to you, you have won them over. But if they will not listen, take one or two others along, so that every matter may be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. If they still refuse to listen, tell it to the church. And if they refuse to listen even to the church, treat them as you would a pagan or a tax collector. Truly, I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly, I tell you, that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three gather in my name, there I am with them. You know, I find this Bible passage one of the most perplexing of passages to get my head around. I'm not fully there yet, by a long chalk, as I'll explain. So as I read and reflect on this, I know I am a work in progress. I have more work to do on these verses in my own life. I wonder what your take on these verses and how they affect your daily life is. Jesus is teaching... And his words are challenging and have eternal consequences. Hard to imagine something having eternal consequences. We don't like the thought of that. We just like to think of the here and now. But there are things that we do which can affect us eternally. If someone has hurt you, Jesus says, go and sort it out with them. If you can sort it out, then resolve things. If you can't, then actually put up a barrier between them and you. Now, that's a difficult thing to do. This must also mean that there will be times when Christians will argue with one another. The thing is, though, to pursue resolution. And then we have the eternal consequences. I tell you the truth. Another way of thinking of this is, I tell you the absolute reality of this is that whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. What we hold against people will be held against us and them in heaven. Whatever we let go of on earth will be let go of in heaven. Yeah, this is big stuff. Yet there is a very practical outworking of this. We all want justice when we are hurt. Yet if we are unable to reach a fair conclusion, then anger can begin to eat away at us. In losing something, in seeking forgiveness, that dangerous relationship with anger is ended. It's loosed, it's gone, it doesn't have a hold on you. So easy to say, but actually very challenging to do. What Jesus is wanting us to hear is the need for justice, yes, yet also the need for things that are done against us, not to adversely affect us in the longer term. It's interesting how, then, Jesus speaks of how asking in Jesus' name that things will happen, and perhaps even more important, how that when two or three meet in his name, that he is with them, his very presence through his spirit, is with them. There seems to be a link here between pursuing justice, forgiveness, depending on Jesus for provision, and of his very presence with us ourselves. I do struggle with Jesus saying that if you agree in my name that it will happen. I'm not sure how that truly works. As we gather now, Jesus is here. We, we pray for peace, for an ending to the pandemic, and storms 
still rage. We truthfully pr pray and agree that, yet things carry on around us. But just because I wrestle with that verse, this passage, it doesn't mean that I can ignore it. I have to prayerfully reflect on this, look for the wider picture of what Jesus is saying here, and then try and get my life to agree with what Jesus says, live it out in reality. But because I do know that Jesus is with us when we meet, because his very presence is with us through the power of his spirit, I will continue to gather with followers of Jesus and prayerfully ask for world peace and the ending of the pandemic, for help when I need to forgive. And I will keep on praying the same until, until things do happen. I guess the overarching theme of this passage is whatever the concern, be it the pursuit of justice, be it the need for forgiveness, be it the need to ask for God's provision, that Jesus is central to this, that our reliance on him is absolute. Whatever you draw from this complex passage, keep wrestling with it. There's a lot of challenging stuff here. As you reflect, may it trouble you until you find the answers. May it also strengthen your relationship and reliance on Jesus. May his teachings really be food for thought for us all today.